Perhaps you have needed to measure light or had to understand a data sheet for a camera or light source. You might have found the terminology confusing and not known how to relate one measurement to another. This video acquaints you with how light is measured and may clear up some of the confusion or at least let you know the source of the confusion. This video covers six different ways light is measured. Power, energy, intensity, irradiance or illuminance, radiance or luminance, and spectrum, and the factors that complicate those measurements. The first factor that complicates understanding light measurement is that light can be measured either radiometrically or photometrically. In photometric measurements, the contribution of light energy to the measurement is weighted according to the photopic response of the human eye. Light at 555 nanometers, green, has a weight of 1. As the light wavelength moves away from 555 nanometers, getting either shorter or longer in wavelength, its weight in the measurement decreases until below about 700 nanometers or above about 390 nanometers, the light energy makes virtually no contribution to the measurement. In radiometric measurements, all wavelengths contribute equally to the measurement of light energy. Light outside the human visible spectrum contributes equally with light inside the visible spectrum. The second complicating factor is that while radiometric measurements are made in the metric system of units, photometric measurements are made in the metric and the imperial measurement system. In the metric system, light measurements can be made in either the MKS or CGS units. For our purpose, we'll just use the MKS system. For each measurement, we use a form like the one shown here. There will be three different units possible for each light measurement. All light measurements are based around the measurement of light power, so we will look at light power first. Light power measurement is made with an integrating sphere. An integrating sphere is a hollow spherical ball coated on the inside with a high reflectance diffuse white coating that is broadband over a wide spectral range. There are ports on the sphere for instruments, samples, and light sources. The light source is placed in the sphere and a measurement is taken with either a photometer for photometric measurements or a radiometer for radiometric measurements. The sphere would initially be calibrated with a standard light source so the reading from the photometer or radiometer indicates the total light power. We can fill in our form for light power measurement. For radiometric measurement, the reading will be in watts. For photometric measurements, the reading will be in lumens for either the metric or the imperial system. Another measurement we might need is energy. For example, it takes a certain amount of light energy to reach a full exposure on a pixel of an image sensor. Since energy is a product of power and time, the measurement of energy requires a knowledge of light power and the time that power is present or used. For radiometric measurements, the unit of energy is joules. For photometric, the unit is Talbots for both metric and imperial systems. The next measurement is intensity. Intensity is a measurement of the amount of light radiated in a given direction. The direction is expressed as a solid angle. The unit of solid angle is a steradian. Intensity is measured with a photometer for photometric readings or a radiometer for radiometric readings. For radiometric measurement, the unit of intensity is watts per steradian. For photometric measurements, both metric and imperial, the unit of intensity is the candela or lumens per steradian. There are times when the light energy falling on a surface needs measuring. This is either irradiance for radiometric measurements or illuminance for photometric measurements. 
The instrument used for measuring irradiance or illuminance is a light meter. The light meter must be selected either for photometric or illuminance or radiometric or irradiance measurements. The units for irradiance are watts per square meter. The units for illuminance in the metric system are lux or lumens per square meter. For the imperial system, the unit of illuminance is the foot candle or lumens per square foot. The next measurement is light energy emitted by a surface. This measurement is defined as the light emitted by a surface into a solid angle terminating at a detector. For radiometric measurements, the measurement is called radiance. For photometric measurements, the measurement is called either luminance or brightness. Luminance is measured with a luminance meter that is calibrated to the photopic curve. Radiance is normally measured with a spectral radiometer which gives the radiance as a function of wavelength. The final measurement is the integral of the spectral measurements. For radiance, the units are watts per square meter per steradian. For luminance or brightness, the unit in the metric system are the nit, the apostolib, candelas per square meter, or lumens per steradian per square meter. These are all labels for the same measured value. In the imperial system, the units for luminance or brightness are foot lambert, candelas per square foot, or lumens per steradian per square foot. Again, these are just different labels for the same measured value. As our final measurement, we might need to know the spectral distribution of light energy, but not necessarily its amplitude. The general term for this measurement instrument is a spectrometer. For measuring the transmission or reflectance of light, the instrument is a spectrophotometer. For measurement of radiated light energy, the instrument is a spectral radiometer. These instruments use a small slit that is either imaged onto a diffraction grating or through a prism to spread the light energy out into its spectrum. The spectrum is sensed by a detector that provides, after processing, an output. The output of the detector is processed and displayed, giving the spectral information. Those are all the light measurements you are likely to need as you work in machine vision. In machine vision, it is most practical to work in radiometric units. However, many devices, such as cameras and light-emitting diodes, are specified in photometric units. It is possible for you to convert from photometric to radiometric units, but you need to know the spectral output, and it does take some work. For more information on light, as well as many other related topics that you will find useful in your work in machine vision, download the paper Optics for Machine Vision Practitioners at the URL shown here.